Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again. And I'm going to show you the fruit basket. Now, one of my first YouTube videos was a fruit basket, but it was a simple fruit basket. It wasn't this elaborate box, this weave that I'm going to do. This is the first time I'm actually going to teach a weave. Uh, there's a lot of weave tutorials out there, and, um, you know, weaving isn't that hard at first. It just takes a lot of practice. Most experienced twisters already have no problem weaving, so that's all well and good. Um, but at the same time, there are very little intricacies that you can only learn from experience. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need four balloons exactly the same, just a four-inch bubble and a pinch twist. And you're pretty much going to tie each knot into the pinch twist. You can actually do this as, out of a triangle, make a triangle weave. Or you could do five balloons and make it an octagon, or six balloons, and you could just keep going. But we're going to go with four balloons because we're making a fruit basket. Now, as far as the fruit goes, um, you don't need me to teach you the fruit. A banana is easy, an orange is really easy, and grapes are really easy, and the apple's really easy. But you will need me to teach you how to put the fruit in the basket. So we'll skip the fruit, teach you how to put it in the basket. Anyway, let's get really rolling here. Okay, so what we have is this. And the way this is going to work is we're going to taper it up. So we're going to start small, and after each layer, we're going to make it a little bigger and a little bigger. Um, I usually like to stop at three layers, because if you go more, yes, it looks better, but the fruit tends to get kind of buried in sometimes, and you don't want that to happen. You want the fruit to be kind of popping out. So anyway, the way this works is you make a small bubble. Find your spot right there. Make another small bubble. And when you twist it, you just need to grab the other balloon and just keep going. You don't need to like go round and round. That won't be necessary as long as you grab the other balloon that you twist it into. So again, let me show you. Made up the bubbles automatic, so I make a bubble here, twist it in, keep going. Now the challenging part is when you're getting to the next layer. So, for instance, what we're going to do is we're going to make a bubble and we're going to push this extra piece through here, right? But let's say this was really, really, really small. You would actually have to make a very small bubble and then just twist the very small bubble around. So I'm actually going to do that because I want to show you how this works. So you make a pinch twist there and you would just run the pinch twist through because if you're making like a really tight weave, it's sometimes extremely hard to run that balloon through. So you have that little bubble there, but you're going to bury that inside. So like I said, I didn't have to do that. I just wanted you guys to see that super cool technique. So now, let's just finish this bad boy up. Now the second layer we're going to make a little bigger. Get a little bit longer than the, the, the other layer you just did. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is make sure that it's not too big and not too small. All right, and the only way to do that is just by experience. I would say this is good enough. I am thinking that it will work itself out just fine. But let's just see if we go one more layer with what happens.
No, see, if you go with one more layer, then the fruit's going to get buried inside instead of popping out. So again, let's just go to the next step. Okay, look, I'm glad that happened. This balloon popped. Now, normally what will happen is this bubble will deflate, and then you'll have a big problem. However, if you're lucky enough to grab whatever broke, and you are able to push it through and grab it on the other end, you might avoid your a big problem, okay? Because if that bubble comes undone, um, it's really hard to, like, fix it and get back to what you were trying to do. So anyway, let's just pretend there was a pinch twist right there. Because that's what we're doing. Pinch twist, break. Okay, so pretend there's a pinch twist there, like I said. So you make the pinch twist, you close it out, and you got a very cool looking basket. And it's actually not that time consuming. So now let's add the fruit. YouTube, say hi, Tubby. Tubby. <laughs> Hi, Tubby. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing? Woo! Woo! <laughs> I love messing with this cat. I really do. He is a piece of work, this guy. All right, get out of here, Tubby. Beat it. Go. Okay, back to the balloon. <laughs> Boy, that cat, he's something else. Okay, so your orange should be about this big, don't make it too big, don't make it too small. All right, here is your apple, which is of course a red 321 with the black tip. Okay, so when I have time, I push the yellow balloon all the way towards the end. This way the banana has one clean end and one knotty end. But when you're in a rush, who cares? So, the banana. Okay, quick side note on the grapes, don't over inflate the grapes because you're going to be making a lot of little bubbles. And I usually just twist them in and twist them in and twist them in. And then, of course, we're coming back down. Okay, another quick side note. If you run out of orange rounds, but you have goldenrod, then that's fine. That'll work as an orange. But you better not have um, no yellow, because then if you have a you know, goldenrod round and a goldenrod banana, eh, it's not going to look good. But I would say if you have a yellow banana, then you can have a goldenrod orange or, you know, if you have a goldenrod banana, then you better have an orange orange. <laughs> All right, so now it's showtime. Okay, so a very special touch is using two 160s and making like a swirl for the handle. Now, if you don't have time, don't do it. But it really makes it look that much cooler. So tie them together, tie them into the pitch twist. Of course that happens. Of course that happens. I think that was the balloon that broke. You know what? I'm not fixing it. Too bad. All right? Let's just keep going. Take a nice swirl. Come down. Find your spot. Twist these two balloons. Twist it in. Break off the rest. All right, so look how much you're learning in this one video. You're learning how to fix broken balloons. You're learning how to weave. You're learning how to make fruits. This is a good video. So you better thumbs up it. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing? All right, so I'm nervous about that because it's probably going to break, but... Let's just keep going. So my trick is the knot, I'm going to twist it in here. 
like not here, but here, okay? And the reason why I'm doing that, and actually, I'm actually grabbing the knot and bringing it all the way down into that pinch twist down there, but then I'm kind of running it through here and just kind of spinning that out, and then yeah. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Let's just keep going. Okay, so that pinch twist, you're going to need to run that through. And finally... And listen, this is real life, okay? The balloons are going to break while you're doing balloons. There's no way to get around that, so... You need to learn how to fix these balloons. You know what I mean? There's nothing worse than having to start over from scratch because a balloon broke. So it's actually a good thing that these balloons are breaking while I'm teaching you because then I'm showing you how to like persevere and get through it. Um, it can be very frustrating, but of course you never show that seriously. Like you joke around, you go, oh my God, ah! Or you can pretend to cry or do whatever. All right, so let's finally finish this video up. This is why you can't make the orange too big, because if the orange is too big, it's going to clash with the apple, and you really got to find a good spot for it. Then the banana, which is the easy part, and then the grapes. And you just want to put just a part of the grapes inside. And there it is. So here's the deal. When you give it to a kid, you always tell them, do not touch the fruit. Because if you touch the fruit and you take one fruit out, they're all going to fly out. If you don't touch the fruit, it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay right there. You're not going to have any problems. But one piece of fruit comes out and... Oh, man! So <laughs> there it is, guys. I hope you guys learned a lot. Thank you so much for your support. I'm making these videos because of all the support I've been getting in the comments. So continue to show some love and thumbs up.